and welcome back to what will probably be the last episode in our equipment series, barring any specific questions people want me to address. So, uh, thank you for watching this series so far. This has come a long way, and it's taken a long time, I know, but thankfully we're at the end now. And in this episode, we'll be covering the last part, which is getting 3D models to show on our character when we've equipped them. So, before I started recording, I already modelled and imported in a mesh. Okay, and when modelling a mesh, you want to make sure that the uh, the root of it is consistent for all the various objects of that type. So, for example, my helms here will have the root at the uh, top of where the skull would be. Okay, so as long as that's consistent, you're okay. To get the right size and scale of that done, all I did was I ex exported the uh, the mesh from Unreal, so the character mesh, which is the mannequin in this case, and I used that as a guideline to model around it uh, to get the right size and proportions and so forth. So we've got a basic helm here, uh, I quickly did in like 10 minutes, um, and we're going to be using that to put onto our character when we equip a certain item. So I'm only showing it on one item, but obviously it's the same thing for every item. You just make, uh, you just keep doing it over and over again. So with the helm model imported in, um, we need to first of all go to our data, and in this case, look at our armor data. Now, last video we added the thumbnail texture 2D uh, data. We're now going to add another one, which is going to be a static mesh. So this will be the mesh that the item uses if it does use one at all. So here I'm going to go static mesh and just do a static mesh. And you'll see now it appears at the bottom like so. Click save and close that down. So let's go into our um, equipment S uh, CSV. And here you can see the thumbnail we added here, but the mesh has now got an option on the end of the table. So for my leather helm here, I'm just going to drop down and choose my helm mesh so that they are associated to it. Click save and close that down. So now we've added a mesh to our armor data and then using that data, we've gone into our database table and added the mesh to one particular um, armor item. So what we can do now is we can go into our equipment system and make it so it changes the mannequin. So before we do that, though, we need to, first of all, edit the mannequin skeleton to accept uh, that uh, mesh. So go into your, find your mannequin, uh, which is here, and you'll wrap up the skeleton. So what we'll be doing today is adding sockets for the various item, armor pieces. So I've already got a helmet, but you do exactly the same for your armor, other armor pieces as well. So I want to find the head bone, because this is going to move with the head. So find your head bone, uh, which is there. And you'll we'll right click on it, and you'll see add socket. And here it's by default named it head socket. I might leave it like that. If you right click on here, and go add preview asset you can see the helm that we've got in place there so by default it will look weird so you have to rotate it and move it into a position of where the socket would match up with the character oh and you want to do this for all the all the various armor pieces that you'll need for your game. So if you're doing shoulder pads, do it uh, on the like neck or shoulder bone here. Uh, arms, wrists, gloves, hands, boots, legs, whatever you may need to do. Um, you add sockets for each one. I've only got a helmet for this demo, so we'll just do a helmet for now. So click save, and we're done here. Now this was a preview only, so this won't actually save the mesh onto the character, but that head socket is what we need to be in place. So, you want to find your equipment. Um, so, on the equip armor function inside our inventory component, we can't really go it, so it adds it to the uh, map data and then refreshes in the stats. 
and refresh stats and update stats is on the third person character, which we've done in a couple of episodes ago. So what we're doing here is what we actually want to do is not only do we have to update the stats, we also want to use this mesh here, this pin here, to add a static mesh to our character. Now the easiest way of doing this is simply just adding a component to this static mesh component and we'll call this one uh, helm okay and what I'm going to do with the helm here is in the construction script if I my construction script here I'm going to drag that out and I'm going to add a socket no um, attach to sorry attach to component and we want to attach to component with it says the target is a scene component the parent is going to be your character mesh and the socket is going to be what we just made so head socket location rule you want to snap the target rotation rule snap the target and scale rule snap the target compile and if I was to say give this the helm, you'll see that it is attached it to our character. Okay, but we want it empty to begin with. And you want to do this for all of the armor pieces that you have. So I have five, I think it was, so I would add five uh, static mesh components all attached and in each of the construction scripts doing this. Okay, so just repeat that again for each armor piece. I'm not going to do that to save some time. So, once we've got that in place, and you have all of your armor pieces associated uh, static mesh components, in our update stats um, function, we have the mesh here. And what we want to do is we want to tell this static mesh to be this mesh. But we have to first of all determine what armor type this actually is. So, on our sequence here, add another pin, and then drag the armor type out. I'm going to go right down the bottom here. And I'm going to go switch. I'm going to switch on armor type. And that will go into your last pin that we just added to our sequence. So, on that last thing it will do is it will go through each of the various types it could be. If it's head, helm is going to be updated. So, drag your helm scene component out. And then set mesh. And the new mesh will be this mesh here. Okay, so one thing you can do to make this a bit tidier is simply um, we're going to promote this to a variable. In fact, what we can actually do is promote uh, yeah. So what we can actually do is if I do find again here plug that in like so and then promote that to a variable to a local variable I can go armor data just so we've got a bit neater like so okay and that should do it I think we can leave that as is but you can also tidy this up if you like by using this armor da data here um, it's totally up to you, but I'll leave that as is to not confuse things. We then want to drag out that armor data we just made, choose get, split it, and from there use that mesh into there, like so. Okay, right, and that will do it. Click compile, and you do that again for each of the various armor pieces that you have. It will probably get a bit messy, try your best to. Set it all up. You can also break it into further functions if you like to make it a bit easier. Up to you. Okay. But essentially, that's what you've got to do. So if I go into my game now and push play and equip that item, you can see now the mesh has been updated here. Now, by default, it hasn't updated our preview mesh. So what we have to do is tell it to make sure we are looking at the full mesh, not just the uh, skeletal mesh when we do our preview asset. Okay, with that now done, push play, equip your item, and it's updated here. We need now need to tell it to update 
in real time because now it's updating it on the construct so it only updates it when I close it and reopen it so to get it updating on the construct uh, after that nope oh, wrong one we'll go into our armor slot here so this armor slot gets updated uh, when it's refreshed okay so when we refresh the slot like so so if there's something quite similar here and tell it to update and refresh when we want it to refresh the um uh, the uh, the uh, so i push play and i quit my item it updates in this window here it doesn't update here yet but because it's on construct if i were to re I close it and reopen it it updates it here now so what i need to do is make it so it refreshes it much like we did with the thumbnail refreshes it once i click on it so in our armor slot the way we accomplished this is that we had all that function that we just done on a function called refresh slot okay so that'll do for this episode um i'll probably will do one more episode actually of saying that after this um to update this character window here so you can actually see it update just like you did here okay so this will match this so we'll have one episode doing that and then we're done with the equipment system series thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this episode and learned something from it if you have any questions or comments or want to, any suggestions for future videos please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and if you want to support me over patreon.com forward slash ryan lady you can do for just one dollar and get access to all these videos at least a month early than anyone else so thanks very much for popping by and i'll see you all next time Bye bye